Hi there, how are you doing? This is Guido Brola, a professional digital artist and photographer. Welcome to my studio. Today, in this quick Photoshop tutorial, I want to show you the quicker and simpler way to achieve a perfectly white background when you want to shoot a product that sits on a plane that is supposed to be white, but you also want to preserve the shadows. Let's see it. Okay, this is the image I will use to show you the process. It happens many times when you shoot products on a white plane that you want the plane and the background to be perfectly white, but you also want to preserve some shadows on the plane, such in this case. So, it must be said that you cannot have this result right out of your camera, because if you overexpose the background, the subject itself will be overexposed. If you want to contour the subject, this can be done on camera by placing the object on a translucent plane, such as a frosted glass or a plexiglass, and you can lift this plane from the back. This way, however, you have no shadows on the plane. So if you uh, want to have some shadows and occlusion on the plane, the result you will have out of your camera is something like this. A correctly exposed subject and a not perfectly white background. You can check if the background is white or not using the curves adjustment, Ctrl M on Windows or Command M on Macintosh. Then uh, choose this high dropper here and hit the Alt or Option button. And what is really white in this image should be shown in white. So in this case, nothing is pure white for now. There are many different ways to clean up this background. The first that can come to our mind is to mask the subject that in this case is very simple, like this, for example. Then we can apply some adjustments to this selection very quickly. But we have some problems if we look carefully. The first is that uh, uh, it looks a bit fake for the fact that uh, um, with a so bright background, uh, some light should, should lit the subject from the back, brightening up this side. The second problem is that the edges of a mask will be never 100% perfect, especially in the dark zones like this. So we have to mask it very carefully, refine the mask, check the result, and certainly some artifacts remains. So I want to suggest you another method that is just as fast, but easier, and that gives better results. And this method consists in using uh, something called dodge. You probably know that there is a tool called dodge tool, this one, but I never use it for the simple fact that I always prefer to work on a non-destructive manner. The method I will going, I'm going to show you gives you also a better control. So what I'm going to do is add in a new layer and changing the blending mode from normal to color dodge. Then I will paint uh, on this new layer using a dark tone that I can set precisely according to my needs. And when I start painting, what happens is this. Only the values that are close to white will be affected by this tool. I don't know if you can see it very well. Checking is everything is good. Okay. Uh, while doing do this, as you can see, I have also given some light on this area that are most, most uh, more exposed to the light coming from the background. 
This way we have a, a white that is really white and shadows still looking natural. We can check it now uh, as we have done before in the same way. And as you can see now, uh, the background is almost white in one minute. So we have this layer here uh, we have painted on. We can turn it on and off to see before and after. We can always make changes on this layer without affecting and destroying information on the original image because the original image is here on another layer untouched. So this is a very quick and very effective way to make this kind of correction. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video, that you have learned something useful. If you want to know something more about my job, you can just Google my name and follow me on your favorite social network. Thanks for watching and see you next time!